Graham in Syria says that there's got to be a ceasefire so it can desperately get needed food and aid to those trapped in eastern Ghouta. Now, the program's country director for Syria, Jakob Kern, joins me live from the capital of Damascus. Thank you so much for joining us here in the program, sir. Of course, as you know, the bombardment, in the words of the U.N. Secretary General, has turned eastern Ghouta into hell on earth. You're on the ground in Syria. You've actually been to eastern Ghouta. What's happening there now? Well, the situation is really bad because after eight years of war, anybody in Syria is already depleted of any assets. And you add bombardments, you add fighting inside East Ghouta to that, you add besiegement to it. Uh, you can imagine how dire the situation is for those 400,000 people that live in that enclave. So the World Food Programme, along with other aid agencies, is calling for a ceasefire so you can get there, you can gain access and deliver much-needed aid. How dire is the need for bread, water, basic food aid in eastern Ghouta? The last time we seriously had access to this eastern Ghouta was almost three months ago. Last week we had a convoy with food for 7,000 people, but in an enclave that has 400,000, that, of course, is a drop in the ocean. So we asked for a ceasefire for a month. That would allow us to, to bring enough convoys, bring enough food to the 400,000 people for a month. So our packages of food are for a family of five for a month. We need that ceasefire on end, of course, approvals afterwards, but they are going in parallel. And it's just, at the moment, it's too dangerous to go in. The situation is bad. People are living underground. We, the bakeries we heard are uh, reportedly destroyed, the two that were still working. Uh, they were producing up to 40,000 bundles uh, a day. That's almost for everybody in the enclave. But at the moment, people are probably scared to go out and, and even get bread or any food that is still available. You know, the, the people of Eastern Ghouta are desperate for help. You mentioned that the last time you were able to deliver an aid convoy there, you were only able to help some 7,000 people. 400,000 people remain trapped there. You say you need a month to be able to l deliver aid for them. A ceasefire hasn't even been brokered yet. A ceasefire, let alone for a month. Do you fear what would happen to Eastern Ghouta if there is no ceasefire, if there is no aid delivery to the people there? Well, we've seen what happened in East Aleppo about a year ago, and we fear that similar situation is developing here. So that's why we are so desperate of having a ceasefire. A month is the minimum. Obviously, anything longer would, would be much better. People need a break. People need a break in the fighting. They need a break in getting uh, supplies. It's not just food. It's medicine. It's, it's clothes. It's... it's uh, sanitation, material, everything is missing because it has been besieged now for almost two years, if not more. Yeah, but Kern, the World Food Programme, thank you for joining us and thank you and the team for all the important work that you do. Uh, we, we do hope that there is a ceasefire for the people of Eastern Ghouta. Thank you and take care.